Hello YouTube! In today's video, I'm going to show you how I keep track of devices on my guest network automatically so that I know if certain automations should or should not run. I do this leveraging something called device trackers. If you're not familiar with device trackers or how to set them up, I'll leave a link in the description to a previous video that I made that covers that topic. My apologies in advance for the quality of that video. It's not that old, but I've been working really hard and I think that my channel really has come a long way since then. In any event, today we're going to configure some additional sensors that will provide a count of the number of devices connected to your guest Wi-Fi network, as well as a binary sensor that will just tell you yes, there are guests or no, there are no guests. On a related note, the way that guests access my guest Wi-Fi is by scanning a QR code that's on my Home Assistant dashboard. This QR code provides the name of the guest Wi-Fi network as well as the password for it and allows guests to connect quickly and easily. In addition, I automate a change in the password for this network so that it's a long, random string of characters in order to ensure everyone is kicked off every night, like neighbors that might have visited, as well as ensures that it's secure since the password is random and long. I also made a video about how I did that, and you can find a link in the description to check that one out if you want. And again, my apologies for the early quality of that one as well. Hi, I'm Jeff. Welcome to the channel. I cover all sorts of smart home nerd topics here. I'm just your average professional IT nerd. With over 25 years in the industry, I've learned a thing or three about programming, networking, and all sorts of other stuff that most people just don't find to be that interesting. My goal with this channel is to make complicated stuff less complicated so that everybody can have a smart house the easy way. Come with me on my journey to make the dumb things smart and the smart things easy. So the first thing we need to do is create a template sensor that'll tell us the number of devices that are connected to the guest Wi-Fi network. To do this, I added these lines to my configuration.yaml file under the sensors section. The value from this sensor is useful for displaying on your dashboard. I show it on the information tab but we're also gonna leverage it for the next sensor. That next sensor is a binary sensor that will just be on or off if there are any guests connected. This is more useful for automations since it's much easier to work with a binary sensor than it is to try and do mathematical comparisons. Here's an example of how I use this information in an automation. This automation fires when my wife or I leave the home zone. The conditions are that neither of our phones are home and that there are no guests connected to the network, meaning no guests are at my house. If those conditions are met, it runs a script that turns off all the lights, stereos, and televisions. So what's a script? They're useful if you have a long series of actions that you want to perform from different automations. You add those actions to a script, then you just call the script from each of the automations, rather than having to enter all the actions multiple times into every automation that you want to run them from. I also use this turn off everything script in my good night routine that shuts off everything in the house. Pretty easy, right? Now you don't have to worry about turning off all the lights and TVs and stereos and such if you have guests in from out of town or if you have a babysitter at the house or anything else like that. What ideas do you have for how you could leverage this information? Leave me a note in the comments and tell me all about it. I always love hearing from you guys. It really does help get my creative juices flowing. I hope that you liked today's video. If you did, please go ahead and whack that like button for me. That tells the almighty YouTube algorithm that this video didn't suck and it should be shown to more people. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more great content like this and ring a little bell if you'd like to be notified whenever I publish new content. Hey, listen, if you don't want to have to pause the video and rewind and type all this code in by hand, my patrons have access to all my code over on patreon.com. Stop in, support the channel, and get all sorts of exclusive benefits such as early access to every videos, behind the scenes content, giveaways, free t-shirts, access to the fast how to discord channel where I can help you with problems, downloadable code for each episode and more. Benefits are available for as little as $3 per month. I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. I'd also like to take a moment and give a big thank you to all my current patrons. You guys rock. I hope you found today's video informative and entertaining and I hope that I was able to teach you something new. I hope that you like today's t-shirt and I look forward to seeing all your smiling faces in the next video. Thanks for watching and until next time, Go automate something, will ya?